friends on video tutorials of unified dais testing information system for education for the year 2014-15 this is another step to know how to print the data capture format from the software please be sure that the data in the system is existing for 2014-15 and then you get the latest dais module from www.dais.in slash udais.html after getting the module or to get the module what you can do is to go to the browser web browser connected with internet go to the web browser and then visit the page www.dais.in slash udais.html let us see how you can download the latest module or latest updates of unified dice software Now this is unified dais website and web page in which you have to choose the school database module. Now please remember that there are two files to execute the school database module. One is the executable files and another are the some of the images or resources used for printing DCF. You have to download these two files. This is the file for school database module executable module and these are some of the images which are required for printing the data capture format for the year 2014-15 both of these files are to be extracted in this particular folder this is not necessary that you keep you keep the same name as it is mentioned here but all these two files both of these files should be extracted into the same folder once you have downloaded and extracted all these files into the same folder then <coughs> you can execute the module and you will get the initial screen splash screen this will be the initial splash screen then click on continue then login into the user in which the data is existing for the year 2014-15 and which for which you want to print the data capture format if the username and password is correct then you will be connected to the database and then select the year as 2014-15 for the selected district continue with 2014-15 after some initial processing the system will be ready for processing the dice data for the year 2014-15 please see it is 2014-15 year before printing the data capture format as we had already specified that the generate data should be there the data should be generated for the year 2014-15 then go to print DCF and in print DCF select complete DCF for printing rest of them should be blocked select the year by default it is selected as 2014-15 you can select the level as block that means you can select a particular block and all the schools of that particular block will be listed here you can select all schools to print all the schools data capture format in one go or you can select any of the schools which you want to print the data capture format you can even select a single school or multiple schools you can even select the schools based on school category suppose you want to print the data capture format only in this, in this step only for primary schools or primary with upper primary or primary with upper primary and secondary so what you can do is just select the school category or management wise also printing can be done so select a school select the language as per your state if you want the data capture format in Hindi you can print it in Hindi 
if you want the data capture format in gujarati kannada marathi or english you can select the language for example i am selecting hindi select print to printer if you don't select print to printer only the processing of the printing process will be shown here in the preview mode but it will not be sent to the printer module printer so to print the data capture format into the pdf file go to printer setup and select pdf redirect printer this is a software which is used for redirecting you redirecting all the printing into a pdf file now i had selected one school for example this school is school category 3 that means the lowest class is 1 and highest class might be 12 just click on print dcf and it will start printing the data capture format for this particular school in hindi language to pdf file just click on print dcf after it into the it will show the preview also and it will print the data capture format into the pdf file you see the printer name it is pdf redirect the preview will be there and the output will be redirected to the pdf file we will see how the pdf file will look like now if you see the size will be displayed now when you click on one one file it says how many number of pages are there in this part first particular section there are one of 11 that means 11 pages are for this then five pages for second section seven pages for third section and in the last there is a blank page why there is a blank page there is a blank page because in the module we had selected print blank page at the end how the blank page will be printed at the end let's see how the blank page why the blank page is printed see there are 11 pages plus 5 11 plus plus 5 16 plus 7 23 if the if the total number of pages of one school is odd number then there will be a blank page at the end so that the next page when it when you print the paper, uh, dcf in the on the paper through printer then it will print the it will start printing of the next school data capture format from a blank page <coughs> so now you can save this file in a particular folder wherever you want for example i am saving this file in i have given some name dcf test save it we'll see how the dcf is looking like let's see we had kept the file name as dcf test let's see how the file is looking this is the output which is printed from the udai software for the year 2014-15 this is the first page total pages of this uh, data capture format is 24 for one school and this is primary with the per primary and secondary higher secondary that means 1 to 12 school this is the first page printed in hindi instructions if you go on the if you go on through this all the pages of this you can see how the data how the neatly the data capture format is printed this is a teachers page instructions page for the teachers enrollment page enrollment by age enrollment by medium of instruction repeaters incentives examination result CWS send data, stream enrollment and repeaters by stream, examination results for secondary and higher secondary, RMSA funds detail, supplementary variables for a particular state, 
and this is a state specific data capture format printed for this is this data is for Madhya Pradesh so there are some two three more pages for this particular state and th these are state specific pages so in your case in a normal case if you are don't have the state specific uh, variables in the data capture format or state specific pages in the data capture format then for a composite school there are 18 to 19 pages total so this is how you can print the data capture format now before uh, before going to the next step you can also see that the data capture format can print uh, data capture format can be printed for the complete block or for a cluster or for a village category wise management wise this is how you can print the data capture format 